Hello again, everybody. It's Peter at Hacking Math, wearing my Coding Rainbow merch. Hey, Dan. I uh, just figured we'd look at this math problem from Reddit. Find the volume obtained when the shaded region is rotated 360 degrees about the x-axis. So that's a calculus problem. It's an integral. So what you've got is this function. We need to find between 1 and 2 the volume when it's rotated around the x-axis. This is the x-axis, the y-axis. So it's like you're making a big disk. Kind of like that. f of x is going to be the radius of that disk. So in calculus class you learn that this the volume is pi times the integral from 1 to 2 of f of x squared. Right? It's pi r squared. You could do a whole bunch of algebra and find the answer in terms of pi, and that shouldn't take you long. Maybe I'll just fast forward through all of that. So we came up with 71 fifths pi, and that's a lot of algebra to be doing. I could easily have made a mistake on the algebra or on the arithmetic, so let's take a look at another way to do that. Plus, that function could have been a really ugly one that couldn't be integrated so easily or can't be integrated at all. But as long as you can express it as, say, a Python function, we can solve it. And it is using this disk method. When we do this in Python, first we have to calculate the thickness or the height of the disk. That's going to be b minus a divided by the number of disks that we use. Next we're going to start a running sum, like total is 0. Then we're going to loop through all the disks, the number of disks. For each disk, we're going to calculate the volume of the disk and add it to the total. Finally, return the total. Let's see how that's going to look. First, we have to import pi. We're going to be using pi, and there's a pi function in the math module. Then we're going to create the function. We're going to define f of x the way it was defined in the problem. Great. Now here's our volume function. We're going to do all those things that we said before. What this is going to do is take in a function and calculate those disks, however many we want for n, between a, the starting point, and b, the ending point. First, we're going to calculate the thickness. Start the running sum. I'm going to call it total. And here comes the loop for i in range n. Let's see, the volume is going to be pi times r squared times h. So it's pi times the function. We're just calling this function fn so that we can use any function that we want. fn of a plus i thicknesses. I'm going to square that times the thickness 
now we're going to increment the total by that volume and at the end return the total. Ready? Now let's run the volume function on F between 1 and 2 and we'll start off just using two disks. 34.3. Now that's for two disks. Let's see what we get for more. The more disks we use, the more accurate our result is going to be. Let's run this, see what we get. 44.6. Is that around 71 fifths pi? Let's take a look. Pi times 71 fifths. Yep. Pretty close. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.